Hello, it's Snack from Crow's Nest, and today I've got the statistics for Deck Devastator 6, which happened this past weekend on February 17th and 18th. Um, we had a very successful tournament. Uh, you can check out the, the VODs that are on this channel, um, but let's get into it. So... Usually you'll see Blackwing as the most represented deck, but for this tournament we saw Vayu, and I wouldn't be surprised if that were a reflection of the results from 2023. Uh, Vayu was taking down a lot of tournaments, like actually winning them, uh, even though it didn't have the highest representation, whereas Blackwing had a lot of uh, tops, but it wasn't winning as much once it got into top cut, so... I wonder if some people, especially some of the higher skilled players, might have switched to Vayu in order to say, well, once I want get into top cut, I want to actually win, so I'm going to play some Vayu. Um, whatever caused it, uh, it's reflected, where we had 21 Vayu players, we had 17 Frog, 16 Blackwing, 13 Zombie, 13 Dragon, which is also a bit of an up uptick, I think. Um, 10 Gemini Hero, Hero Beat, um, 7 Light Sworn, 7 Machina, 5 Gladiator Beast, 5 Quick Draw Plant, 4 Fairy, 4 Amaryllis, 3 Dark Hero, so like Deep Hero, 3 Synchro Cat, 2 Burn, 2 Chaos, 2 Flamvel, 2 Stun, 2 X Saber, 1 Alien, 1 Karaz, 1 Monarch, 1 Plant, 1 Spaceships, and 1 Volcanic Deck. So those are just the numbers on the people who actually entered. Um, for win percentages, um, every deck that had at least five I have on here. So as you can see, Gladiator Beast did not have a great weekend. <laughs> they only, um, only won 24% of their games, whereas Frogs won 41%. Um... Quick Draw also had 48. All these others had at least 50% or higher, with Gemini Hero actually having the highest win percentage, but only one of those players was able to make it into top 16 despite the 60% win percentage overall. Um, for conversion rate into top 8, only 4 decks made it. Half of them were Vayu, so Vayu got a 19% conversion rate into top eight as a deck. Uh, two zombie decks in top eight gave zombie a 15% conversion rate. And then Dragon and Blackwing had 7.7 .7 and 6.3 respectively. Something else that I looked into were individual card stats for the top 16. So I have the top 16 decks here on the right side. Um, and some interesting stuff. Uh, Caius and Raiko are actually, because of all the Vayu in this tournament, Caius and Raiko are the two most played cards, um, followed by Stardust Dragon, Dimensional Prison, and Bottomless Trap Hole. And after that, the next most played main deck monsters are Vayu and Sirocco, which is kind of crazy. Um, if you take out the extra deck monsters, I think this is, uh, a little bit easier to read and something else you can do is you can judge by the percent of the limit so you can only play one card trooper but you can play three kaias so you know what percentage of the limit are people playing is something that i like to look at and if you look at it that way you have three cards that are tied when you consider main deck copies and those are kaias Dark Armed and Plague Spreader. So I think this really illustrates that we're kind of in a dark format <laughs> and not just dark cards, but dark cards that interact with being banished. And <clears throat> a big reason for that is Return from the Different Dimension. This card was in eight decks of the top 16 and six decks of the top eight. Um, whereas Dark Armed was in nine decks of the top 16 and seven of the top eight. So once these players got into top 16, it was the dark arm decks that were able to continue on. That deck, that card is just insane. Uh, dark arm dragon, we never left 
dark armed return format, apparently, because we are currently still in it in Edison format. Um, uh, not the most crazy thing to learn that dark armed dragon is a good card, but <laughs> I think, um, people are, have not really understood the, the impact of return maybe in Vayu. That was not always a standard card, but for the five lists in the top 16, I'm pretty sure they're all playing it. I know for a fact that the four in top eight were. Let me just double check to see. I believe so. Yes, we do have that. So, um, on to uh, individual deck breakdowns. We have uh, Blackwing, where we had 16 people pick Blackwing. 12 of them were on Pure, 4 of them were on Graffer. They both had about 50% win rate. For Dragon decks, um, I talked about this earlier, but I think we had more Dragon decks enter than most tournaments that I looked at for 2023. And part of that is because 2023 was a good year for dragons. And I think people wanted to see if they could have this replicate the success that other players have had. But at least with dragon turbo, ghost rider was able to get second place, but the rest of the people who ended with dragon turbo didn't have such good luck. They finished with only a 46% win percentage. The dragon recruiter version with three people entered had a 65% win rate. Uh, Flip Dragons had a 26% win rate with those three people, and 1% of Virus Dragon had a 33% win rate. Uh, for Frogs, we had 10 people on the Hero version, 3 people on Junk Frog, and then 1 Fish, 1 Plant, 1 Dark Calling, 1 Machina. Um, the Hero Frogs had a 50% win rate, Junk Frog, Junk Monarch that is, had only an 11% win rate. Terrible tournament for Junk Monarch Frogs. <laughs> um, and then Fish had a 50% win rate, Plant 40%, Dark Calling 29 and Machina had a 0% win rate. Machina Frogs, that is. Uh, we talked about Glass. They only had a 24% win rate. For Gemini Heroes, uh, seven people played Diva, two people played Crystal Seer, and one person played neither of those cards. The Diva version had a 55% win rate. The Crystal Seer version had a 69% win rate. And Traditional had 57% win rate. As you can see, we had seven. I think I went over that, yeah. For Light Sworn, uh, five people played Light Sworn Fairy. So like Christia Sworn. And then one person played a pure Light Sworn, one person played Flameville. The fairy version had a 63% win rate. Pure had 57. Flanville did not win a game. It's just one person though, so. For the Machina deck, um, we had four people playing Machina Control. One person Gadget Machina, one person with Roids, and one person with Jinzo. It was like a Jinzo OTK Machina kind of deck. The... Machina Control had a 56% win rate, but was not able to make it into top 16. Um, Machina Gadget, 50%. Roid, 50%. Jinzo, 33%. For Quick Draw, we had three standard Quick Draw. One with Mask Control, that being Mask of Darkness. One person was on uh, Dark Worlds. Uh, we had 56% win rate for standard, 33% for Mask, and 25% for Dark World. Onto Vayu. Uh, in the past, we've sometimes seen people experimenting with the Vayu list, you know, maybe adding third graph or an elfin or <clears throat> sometimes like some psychic cards like Krebens and stuff. But this time it was very standard for the most part with one person playing assault mode in Vayu. Um, the 20 people who played standard Vayu had a 56% win rate and the one person on assault mode had 25% win rate. And then lastly, for zombies, I find this one very interesting, where six people played Psychic Zombies, four people played D.Va, two people played Heroes in Zombies, and one person played <clears throat> Pac-Man Zombies with, like, Des Uh The Psychic Zombies, despite being the most represented, had only a 33, th or sorry, a 31% win rate, and 
no representatives in the top 16. The four people on Diva Zombies <clears throat> had a 68% win rate, and one of them made it into top 16. In fact, one of them made it into top 8, that being Beast Mode. And two people on Hero Zombies had a 62% win rate, with one of them making it into top 8. So, six decks were playing Crepens, and six decks were playing Diva, and... Of these two, the Diva decks, one each made it into top eight, whereas zero of the Krebens decks made it into top 16 even. And then Pac-Man also did not have success with only a 33% win rate. So that's pretty much everything. Let me double check to see if I had any other takeaways. I think um, on this page, let's undo this real quick. So, Caius, I know, is tied with Dust Tornado at 27 copies in the um, <clears throat> total, whereas all 27 copies of Caius are in the main deck, but only four copies of Dust Tornado are in the main deck. Um, another interesting one is uh, Cyber Dragon. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah. Cyber Dragon had 13 copies in the entire main and side across 16 people. And I find that interesting because in the past, a lot of side decks would begin by throwing in two Cyber Dragon. You need Cyber Dragon for Blackwing or uh, Glad Beast or Hero Beat or something like that, right? Or Machina, of course. But now we've seen people cutting Cyber Dragon and cutting Fortress Dragon from their extra deck to make room for something like a third Armed Wing if you're playing Vayu or some utility Synchros if you're playing Zombies. And so... The fact that less than one person, like on average of the 16 people, you're playing an average of less than one copy of Cyber Dragon in the top 16. And um, I think that that says a lot. And Machina players might be the time to take advantage of that. Uh, maybe you can dedicate some side deck stuff or modify your gameplay so you're not as worried about Cyber Dragon, considering, <clears throat> especially if you're going up against a Vayu deck. Um, with these value decks mostly not playing Cyber Dragon at all, you might feel safer um, committing to the board with your machines without worrying about Cyber Dragon against them. Um, I think that's the pretty much the last thing I had to say. So, um, congrats to everybody who topped. Um, thanks to everybody who helped this tournament run smoothly, and adios.